cannot say this is for a painter, okay. <laughs> Riga, we are better, but painter still can use it. What you can do if you want to protect your harness? Even this was repaired by, yeah, something. This is to scrap. We just have it here for demonstration. If this is full of paint, it's not any more safe. We don't use it. This is done. If you paint the tower, you can protect your harness. Put the cling foil, this plastic foil around it. You can have it for three, four days, then you take it off, do it again. Like this, you will not damage your harness. Harnesses are expensive. So, please be sure you have something like this, not like this. All these parts they have specific numbers. This is PPE, it's personal. This means I cannot give my harness to him. He cannot give it to me. We have to inspect this every morning before we climb the tower. And we have a letter to sign in. The inspection is done. understand how it works and there is a rope inside the rope must have the length double length of the tower to go up and there must be you have also a checklist yeah I have it. I was just now your checklist to now you have a chochote and bacho kipo kabla kufanya kazi Kwa mfano uenda umefanya ume, unafanya kazi ukapata labda yanga kidogo kajitibu. Pengine umesahau kesho kabla kuanza kazi ukipitia checklist yako kakaguo utagundua kwamba nina uhaba wa kitu fulani. Top range is one of the most uh, important tools in our field. So we decided today just to provide education to our colleagues on how to use, on how to maintain and proper handling of them. Today the training was about building towers. We had some problems, some quality issues to build towers. So what we did here today is train them on health and safety first, standard of tools, personal uh, protection equipment, and then we dem demonstrate how we work with chin pole, how we use our tools. This is why we, we do before, we made a diagonal before we put it. We have to make sure we check all the equipment, all the personal protective equipment, if they are certified. I 
kujifunza vitu vingi sana kupitia hii training. Kitu cha kwanza kuhusiana na toko. Toko mara nyingi huaga mimi ninapofahamu unapiga minara karibia mitano, sita au zaidi ya bolt ya 5000 au 6000 na hamna masuala ya check up. ndio kwamba hauwezi kufanya hivyo vitu ni lazima ukipiga zaidi ya bolt 1500 au 1500 lazima urudishe ile top na ifanywe vipimo vyote kwa kitu kilichonifurahisha zaidi kwa upande wangu mimi ilikuwa ni swala la kamba kuja kuonyeshwa ile vipula vile vidogo vya aluminium eh. alafu na kamba ile ya milimita 12 mm. mimi pale ndo nipogundua kwamba sasa ulimwangu umeenda sehemu nyingine na unatusogeza sehemu nyingine we believe in delivering products that meet our customers' expectations. We're showing that we're doing continuous improvement in terms of quality and in terms of the health and safety. So that being said, so we usually do some sort of uh, quarterly um, refresher training with the oil contractors and partners. We will put them in the class and we we'll got them in the field and take through all the I mean important important steps when it comes to construction tower or, or when it comes to the uh, <coughs> doing tower strengthening. So uh, that two or three days workshop enables them to refresh I mean the knowledge and that and when they go back to the site they make sure that they're doing the quality job and those jobs they meet our quality and our customer is happy and when customer is happy and we ensuring that our business is continuing